Professor Masao Ogaki of the Faculty of Economics at Keio University is researching how to introduce virtue ethics into economics. So my uh, current main theme for my research is uh, how to introduce what we call virtue ethics into economics. Virtue ethics is one of the three major ethics theories uh, and in economics we've been using uh, mainly um, utilitarianism and related welfareism. And the welfare concept we use in economics is uh, what we call utility. This means um, mainly like life satisfaction based on uh, consumption and leisure. In virtue ethics, we think about how to develop our virtues, and then after developing virtues and other abilities, we try to uh, contribute to our community, and there uh, we might not get much consumption or leisure. People who uh, has a virtue of diligence tends to work very hard, but uh, they feel fulfillment from contributing to our communities. And this fulfillment uh, gives us a different kind of happiness, uh, different from life satisfaction, and this is called eudaimonia. Eudaimonia is a happiness concept and is often translated as a good life. So when we develop virtues and when we serve the community, we feel fulfillment and we have a different kind of happiness and that's the happiness concept we use in uh, virtue ethics. In economics we've been working mainly on life satisfaction type concept of happiness and that's uh, very important but uh, uh, the idea is this is not the only thing we should think about. With this ethical theory in place, Professor Ogaki is now working on suitable approaches for applying it into economic analysis. In economics, uh, many people have been thinking about how to introduce uh, different ethics theories into economics. And what we are using is uh, called meta-preferences. This idea was introduced to economics by uh, Nobel Prize winner uh, Armatya Sen in 1970s. And his idea was to think about different uh, preferences and among preferences there are better preferences in terms of ethics. When Armatya Sen introduced this, um, he was not talking about uh, virtue ethics, but we are uh, combining the idea of virtue ethics with meta preferences. And another uh, literature is endogenous preferences. Um, the idea is that um, inside the economic system, when, um, for example, parents change their economic behavior, that can affect uh, <coughs> children's preferences. For example, if uh, parents give too much uh, toys or sweets uh, to a child during her childhood, then she might become very impatient. So that's an example of endogenous preferences. So. Uh, um, heredity doesn't determine uh, preferences completely, but how we raise children, education, and how we consume can affect uh, preferences. And um, what we're doing is to combine um, endogenous preferences and uh, meta preferences and moral virtue uh, into one project. And a new uh, idea is to combine these three into one. In terms of future research, Professor Ogaki will study eudaimonia and the economics of happiness. So for uh, future research, one important element is uh, happiness. The economics of happiness has been uh, developing very uh, rapidly in these days, but studies about eudaimonia uh, have just started. So we need to study more about when we um, become happier in terms of eudaimonia and in terms of policies, how government policies might affect this eudaimonia. And eudaimonia is very much related to communities and how um, ties inside communities are developed. So many policies need to uh, be re-evaluated in terms of uh, these ties in communities and eudaimonia from now on. And for um, these effects on policies, 
I think it's important to uh, really go, get into real examples and for that purpose, uh, myself, um, I want to use more interviews um, in um, uh, diff different communities to uh, continue research on this.